Hey, hey, folks. Doc at the homestead, right? Uh, long day. Fun day, right? Good morning, everybody. CJ goes live. CJ Van Slightman, Steel City Houses. 26-year investor, landlord, developer, fun guy, play Xbox with the tenants kind of guy. We're standing outside a Metro Settlement title right now. And ironically, I'm not closing at this one today. But we are doing a closing right up the street today. And uh, a lot of people have asked me how, uh, I did a video about two weeks ago. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how I, um, I bought a property with no money down and got the rehab funds for no money down. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. But I also brought along King. He's been in school, so he hasn't been able to come to closings for quite some time, no, right? And here he is, and he's actually got the check in hand for the closing for the property that uh, we're buying today. And we have to be at closing in like two minutes, but it's actually right around the corner from uh, our good friends here at Metro. Um, fantastic title company as well, but we're actually heading to the attorney's office right now. And uh, we'll just like walk you through a little bit and then we'll explain to you exactly how this deal got done for no dollars. At least a nice day today, right? Beautiful day. I don't like being downtown so much. Not my favorite spot. But I think we are here in North Pennsylvania. Let's find this place. Thank you, sir. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we just finished our closing here. And we're going to go get some lunch. We're debating uh, Mexican or Italian. Not exactly sure. We're uh, going to go celebrate and then head over to the property and start getting into it. And uh, we're going to come back later on this afternoon. And King and I are going to sit down and we're going to tell you exactly how we bought this property with no money down, no credit, no credentials, uh, no banks, no qualifying, none of that jazz. See you in a bit. All right, guys. Back out here in the country where we live and uh been a long day today <laughs> uh you had a good day king yeah what did we do today we bought a house we did a thing and <laughs> we bought a house uh with no money down uh no credit no credentials no banks um and how it started was let me just take you back to the beginning and i'm gonna make this fast you know maybe like a minute or two but to, just to give everybody an idea sorry about the lighting too that's you know it's starting to get dark here out, out in the country, and we're on the backside of the, the sun. So, <laughs> uh, so the way we started, um, uh, where we found this property was, I called my local code enforcement. Um, once I called the code enforcement, I requested a list of all the blighted properties and properties that had like overgrown grass, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got the list, and I drove that list in my neighborhood. And King and I actually drove and found this particular property that was owned by, don't sleep on this, the land bank, our county land bank. I called the county land bank and I said, is it available? Absolutely, it's available. So I bought the property, close today, bought the property. And the way I financed it with nothing down was uh, I got a personal note for the first part of the purchase. And then I got a hard money note for the uh rehab the fifty thousand dollars 45,000 rehab on the back end of the property uh so i didn't have to come out of pocket for anything the appraisal was paid for the appraisal came in at 132 so i think we're in a pretty good spot to make around 50k on this property once the rehab is finished in about six weeks or so uh so a lot of times people don't think about like calling their code enforcement or doing things locally right yeah you gotta like you know, pick up the phone, right? And reach out to people. Yeah, you got to reach out to your city officials, right? Yeah. And isn't that how we found this one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for everybody who asks about proof of funds, you can go back in some of my videos and you can see like uh, how I uh, obtain proof of funds for high dollars when I don't have, you know, $3 million, $5 million, $10 million. You can also do the same thing. But call your code enforcement, get to know your county land bank. There are restrictions with the land bank properties, but... For the most part, you can uh, buy them and you can assign them. And what they'll do is charge you like a little tax fee uh, if you flip them or move them along within 
five years. That's how it is in Pennsylvania anyway, but check with your local folks and see if you can find these land bank properties. Reach out and find yourself a personal note lender. Find yourself a hard money person. It's pretty easy. There's a lot of sharks out there. I'd be careful, but if you wade through the sharks, you will find somebody that will lend you the money and you'll get into a property just like this and make a 50 or a 60K profit on zero dollars in. I hope you guys understand how this works and if you still need some uh, clarification, right? Yeah. You can always call me, 412-330-7541 and we look forward to uh, showing you what the progress is. We were already in there today, it was 92 degrees and we were like, no, it's just too hot. We're not like, <laughs> we don't have power on yet. Yeah. You know, we went straight from the closing right to the job, King and I. And this guy starts tearing walls out already mm. <laughs> in white. And he's wearing white and he's tearing walls out. <laughs> and then he gets mad because his white shorts got dirty. <laughs> CJ goes live. CJ Van Slightman, Steel City Houses, 26 year real estate investor and mentor and trainer, student, landlord, all the good stuff, inspector and developer and was once a real estate agent 25 years ago. Enjoy the rest of your day.